Nat e, she a sage bond yinisha, is a slan in Nishkle, in de fascist chin, Tatnasatni dashache, Chishi dashanala, Adol bega she pitote nasha. Hello everyone, my name is Sage Bond. I am half Navajo and half San Carlos Apache. My clans are many goats, San Carlos Apache, Tangle people, and Chiricahua Apache, and I live in Cal Springs, Arizona. Yat eh, she a sage bond yinisha, is a slan in Nishkle, in de fascist chin, Tatnasatni dashache, Chishi dashanala, Adol bega she pitote nasha. Hello everyone, my name is Sage Bond. I am half Navajo and half San Carlos Apache. My clans are many goats, San Carlos Apache, Tangle people, and Chiricahua Apache, and I live in Cal Springs, Arizona. Currently, I'm a student at Northern Arizona University, and I am a sixth-year NACAP apprentice composer. I sing and play guitar, and I've studied composition 
with Raven Chacon and Michael Begay. Um, my piece is titled Illusion, and the inspiration for Illusion comes from my uh, metal background. I really love thrash metal and heavy metal, and I started playing guitar on an electric guitar, so um, I would make up my own riffs and just go as heavy as I can. And um, when I compose, I usually write and start on a guitar and make up my um, riffs and play chords. And then I get help from Michael B. Gay. And I didn't, I didn't know how to transcribe from guitar to another instrument. I didn't know like how chords stack up by thirds and fifths or that there were inversions of these chords. I was so used to playing my guitar that where I just strum and the notes ring out forever and it's not the same when you play another instrument, uh, especially with the string instruments in the quartet. So when you're actually composing uh, you write the duration of the note instead of just having the strings ring out and writing like this is a G chord. But for Illusion, I wanted to create the most like uh, in-your-face um, metal riffs <laughs> and um, writing with um, a lot of dissonant sounding chords, uh, crunchy sounding, because you want to, well I want to, um, portray to the listener that there is something wrong. You you start with what the illusion is and then you're on this journey and the illusion brings you to this end. During the pandemic, I just, um, it's been really hard as a music student and there are a lot of other music students struggling right now. Um, not just music students, but like everyone has to all of a sudden be tech savvy and be have the best Wi-Fi connection, which we don't have here on the reservation. It's very spotty, and have to have a um like laptops and tablets. So not every Navajo kid has that uh, at their expense. It's all been like a, a big learning curve for everyone trying to figure out how to keep our education going and how to keep our interaction. And this energy, like, we're still teaching in person, but it's, um, it's not the same. What I'm looking forward to post-pandemic is concerts and going to shows, being on the stage and also being in the crowd and supporting other bands and artists and being able to, um, see the, the rest of my family, my extended family. Uh, uh I got the pleasure of taking care of my grandmother during the pandemic, but it was so scary and now she's in um, good hands. So we're, I'm not at, um, I'm not putting her at risk and um, because I've been a commuter student traveling back and forth from two hours home all the way to school and then all the way back. And that's what um, the pandemic put me through because I was living nearer to school but after that happened everyone had to go home and so that's been a struggle but I mean we're all adapting and adjusting and trying to do our best it's uh it takes its toll but we're still here and I think that the idea that we're thinking of post pandemic and what we're gonna do when it's all over and everyone is all better. <laughs> everyone is um, looking forward to those live shows and interactions and being able to hug their families again. So my piece is called Illusion and I hope you guys like it.